so i think we can start now like i don't think anybody else would be joining so let me present my screen am i audible to you yes ma'am yes ma'am okay fine yes so is the screen visible yes ma'am okay uh, so let me start now so welcome to session 6 of live tutorials on electronic materials and devices so for, for the past 5 weeks we have been solving numerical as well as conceptual questions related to your assignment questions and also questions from your previous year assignments so like for like i think only two of us are there today so there is no no need of further introductions so let us move on to the questions directly so i hope both of you has gone through the videos of week 6 ha uh, yes ma'am uh, yeah. week 7 i am well doing but i have some doubts in okay okay fine fine so once the questions are done we can go to the doubts in week 7 assignments like last week okay yeah okay so the first question is it's very direct and very simple i hope and choose the correct statement a pn junction is a two terminal one junction device and a transistor is a three terminal and two junction device so similar four statements are given to you so i want both of you to think about it and tell me what is your option and why the comparison between a pn junction and a transistor ma'am i think option a pn junction is two terminal one junction and transistor is three terminal two junction device what about anil you have the same opinion ah uh, i go with option a ma'am a pn junction is a two terminal one junction device and a transistor is a three terminal two junction device device yeah so regarding the terminals we know right so in pn junction it can be either positive and negative and the junction the only one junction will be there and in transistor depending on whether it is npn or pnp there will be two junctions in between and there will be three terminals that is the emitter base and the collector right so in that case answer is option a pn junction is a two terminal one junction device and a transistor is a three terminal two junction device so next is uh, a bipolar junction transistor consists of two pn junction emitter base junction and base collector junction in the emitter base junction the depletion region lies almost entirely in the base whereas in the collector base junction the depletion region is usually divided between the base and the collector what is the reason for this so with respect to base region collector is heavily doped while emitter is comparatively doped or collector region is comparatively doped while emitter region is heavily doped and with respect to base both emitter and collector are heavily doped and with respect to base collector region is comparatively doped while emitter region is lightly doped so what would be the answer option b what about the other person Um, ma'am emitter is a complete i mean heavily doped option b ma'am yeah so like uh, in case you are not able to remember the correct like thing with respect to this bipolar transistor there is an another way in which we can directly identify the answer to this question can you tell me we have seen an equation for width of junction and all right so whenever there is an increase in doping we'll say that the width of the depletion region will be that side is decrease ma'am opposite side is more yeah so in that way also we can identify so when heavily doped width of the depletion layer will decrease and when lightly doped depletion layer will increase so if you see in that way also if we can see here that in first case in emitter base junction depletion region lies almost entirely in the base which means that in the emitter the doping will be high yes ma'am yeah and in collector base junction what the depletion region is usually divided which means that they are comparably doped so hence the answer is option b is it clear to both of you yes ma'am no. yeah, yes ma'am yeah then consider an npn jfet which of the following statements is true regarding this jfet this is a current control device with p channel between source and drain n channel exists in the absence of gate voltage the voltage applied to gate reduces the width of the p channel the voltage applied to the gate increases the width of the p channel uh, option b ma'am n channel exists in the absence of gate voltage ma'am yeah and what about the other person
Hello? Ah, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Are you ah, okay? Yes, yeah. Do you also think that option B is correct? Ah, ma'am, I need some time. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Take your time. Uh, madam, for me, actually, I am feeling like uh, both B and C because uh, the voltage applied to the gate reduces the width of the B channel. That is sure, no, ma'am. But usually, we will say that an NP and JFET will be an N-channel device, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so that's why we will go with B. Uh, so, Saujanya, can you just tell me how you came to the idea, like, why you are telling that B is at your explanation for that answer? Uh, ma'am, actually the IV characteristics of JFET is there, no, ma'am. So yeah. as the I and V increases, the N channel decreases and the pinch of it occurs. Like that, the N channel, so here, when the uh, I mean, uh, voltage is applied, uh, of the gate voltage is applied, that pinch of is occurs. If the gate voltage is not there, means N channel is existed. Exist, that is my... Yeah. Yeah. That so, Anil, do you think your that explanation is fine for you? Like you both actually should I think discuss with each other. Do you, like we three can discuss. Like only since three of us are there, then Anil, if you have any doubt with what just she said, you can ask now. Um. Nothing, ma'am. Uh, that just like N P N trans N P N J F T means like channel N P N. So yeah. channel will be P. Yeah. It's a P channel. Okay. Uh, so if you apply a voltage to the gate terminals, it huh. obviously uh, reduces the width of, uh, width of the P channel. Okay. So I go with options. Option C. Ah. Okay, but the actual answer is the N channel exists in the absence of gate voltage. So I think I can project the it. So this is what uh, she just mentioned, right? Isn't it correct, Saujanya? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Here, yeah. what I'm telling. Yes. Uh, I. Yeah. You can you explain now based on this diagram. Uh, yes, ma'am. As the uh, BGS is the minus four volts, I mean to the, uh, I mean here the gate and source is uh, um, biased. I mean the positive, so that's why the um, I mean uh, uh, source have the positive. Uh, I mean uh, actually source is the N, so it it is getting the positive uh, uh, positive ions to the source. That's why the N channel is reducing, ma'am. So. If VGS is zero, means uh, there is a uh, no supply of positive ions to the N, N yeah, yes. channel. Yeah. So it is existed instead of it is completely merging and uh, making as a pinch off like that. Yes. Uh, Ma'am, I think Anil is confusing with the NPN channel. Here N is the channel, means uh, uh, where uh, uh, source is the N means that is the N channel. Am I right, ma'am? PNP means the source is the... Uh, yes, yes. Um, yeah. Source is the P. P, yeah. Here source okay. is N. Okay. Yeah. So is it clear now, Anil? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll both go back to the question. So basically, answer would be what she just mentioned. The transistor is in fully conductive state and is in maximum operation when voltage at the gate terminal is zero volt. As we increase the amount of negative voltage the gate terminal receives, the transistor becomes less conductive. And once the negative voltage reaches a certain threshold, that is the pinch off, the N-channel JFET circuit stops conducting altogether across the drain source terminal. So is it clear? So answer will be option D. N-channel exists in the absence of the gate voltage. So it's based on the source, whether we are sending it's an N-channel or a P-channel. Yeah. 
So is it clear now? Um. Yeah. So next is JFETs are considered voltage control devices because the current flow depends on the width of the channel which is controlled by external potential. Current flow depends on the width of the gate, which is controlled by external potential. Current flow depends on width of source, which is controlled by external potential and depends on the width of drain, which is controlled by external potential. So what controls external potential controls what width in a JFETs? That's the question. The uh, option C, madam, the current flow depends on the width of the source, which source. is controlled by the ex, uh, external, external potential. potential. Yeah. Option C, madam. What about Anil? Think you want to go with option C or any other option? Please take your time, no issue. And before answering, we can wait a few minutes so that the other person also gets some time to process it. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Actually, this question and previous question is so related, ma'am. Yeah. So that's it. I think from this region, the amount of numericals you'll be getting will be less. It will be more of like concept-based questions. Because previous year assignments, when I see more are concept questions. Problems are very less. Oh, okay. Yeah. But in assignment, uh, the given three, four numericals. Numericals, right? yeah. Hmm. Madam, I am not able to get the answer. Okay. So basically, the question before was what? Like which of the following main statements is true regarding this JPET? So N channel exists in the absence of the gate voltage. So here we mentioned that we are here we are considering it N channel because of the source, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so same goes here also. They are voltage control devices, okay, that we know, but all depends on the width of the source, which is controlled by the external potential. Ah, okay, okay. Minority carriers moving from source to drain via gate. Yes. And yeah, then you talked about minority carriers. I had discussed about that previous week assignment. You had mentioned, right, uh, thermionic emission, diffusion emission. Ah, yes, yeah, no, yes. Yeah, yeah. So that one, uh, they are still telling that it is thermionic and they have given an explanation also. I'll project that later. Okay. Yeah. So if you are not satisfied with that explanation, again, we can try with faculty. Now I had tried with another TA. So in case you are not happy with that, you know, we can uh, ask the professor. Okay. Yeah. So here, the thing is that JFET is a three-terminal voltage control device. The voltage across the gate is used to control current through the drain. The gate to source voltage changes the channel width between two P regions, which ultimately controls the current flowing between the drain and source terminals. So that is why we say that the current flow depends on the width of the channel, which is controlled by external potential. So actually the answer is not C also, it is A. Oh, yes, ma'am. I was feeling like A. Since the current flow depends on the width of the channel, that is 100% true. Uh, then you should be like actively answering. Don't worry whether it's wrong or not. Yeah. Because that, that is the thing that controls the ma'am. If you apply a gate, reverse gate voltage to extreme level, then what? Your conduct, your semiconductor will not conduct. Yes. So that's why I just uh, projected the question again. There we are telling regarding only channel. Right. So here, yes, the current flow depends on the width of the entire channel, which is controlled by the external potential. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. So is it clear to both of you now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So next is, in an N-channel JFET, where in most of the questions are regarding JFETs only. In an N-channel JFET, where the gate is shorted with respect to the source, that is VGS is equal to zero, and the drain is positively biased with respect to source, which means as VDS is greater than zero. Why does channel near the drain side start narrowing with an increase in VDS? So take your time to think 
and then answer. Like both of you should give me an explanation of why we are going with which option. So source gate junction is reverse biased, drain gate junction is reverse biased, gate is lightly docked near the drain and gate is lightly docked near the source. Ma'am, I'm feeling none of the option is correct, ma'am. Okay. And what about Anil? <laughs> Even I am not able to get any answers. So basically, what happens when the gate is shorted with respect to the source? First, we'll go from there. So what happens? Like depletion region exists, ma'am, but uh, it is like it is like in a ideal condition. Okay. And when drain is positively biased with respect to source? Um, means the electrons will flow from the source to drain. So current will flow, current will increase ma'am, okay. like that. And the, if the current is increases, means the 10 channel will uh, uh, narrowing down. Okay. And then they are asking why somebody uh, joined right now, I think. Okay, so why does the channel near the drain side start narrowing with an increase in BDS, they are asking. Uh, so you can take two ma minutes. Ma'am, here. Yeah. yeah, tell me, tell me. Ma'am, here gate is completely, I mean, it is shorted, means it is not reverse biased or any biased. But okay. in the AB option, they mention gate junction is reverse biased, means AB can, we can eliminate. Okay. But uh, uh, this doping thing, I'm not understanding, ma'am. It's a biased thing, so uh, source and the drain is biased, gate kept as a short end. So, um, so that option is not there, ma'am. The source and the drain is the positive bias. That is the, my answer, ma'am. Okay. So, what about Anil? No, ma'am. I can't. Okay. Yeah. But answer to this question is the drain gate junction is reverse biased. Ma'am, here uh, uh, gate is completely certain means, means there is no biasing, right ma'am? Yeah, gate is completely then, shortened, yeah. But then why it's reverse biased, I couldn't understand ma'am. Basically, why does, um, not that part, why the channel near the drain side starts narrowing, why? That is the only part we need to... Okay. Yeah, based on that, can you think? channel near the drain side starts narrowing with an increase in BDS.
like if you have no you have taken notes of jfet maybe you can refer that i think Anil, are you getting any idea? Madam, I, I, yeah. can, I, I can just say like since the drain is okay. Yeah, tell N me. channel means both side P is there. Yeah. yeah. So our uh, uh, collector is also P. So collector drain. Drain, drain, drain is also P. Uh, P yeah. Since you are giving P, like its concentration increases. When the concentration increases, actually the depletion width on that region Narrowing decreases. Will happen. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now I got it. Yeah. So, yeah. And like, what about the third person who just joined? Did he leave or he's still there? Yes, ma'am. Hello? Hello, yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yeah. Are you able to understand this question? Uh, yeah, ma'am. A little bit. Yeah. So, like, uh, can any, uh, like, any of you, like, like Anil or Sarjane, can you just explain what you understood till now? Like, in this particular question. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ma'am, here that, um, based on, like, uh, drain and gate are in the reverse bias, okay. means uh, negative ions is going to the P channel. Yes. So, I mean, um, P type. Uh, it's a PNP, so it's going to the P. So it is a highly dope. I mean, uh, uh, the depletion region goes increase in the two P sites. So that's why uh, the N channel is narrowing down, ma'am. Yeah. And what about Anil? Your version? Madam, I don't know about reverse and forward bias. <laughs> Simply, I just said like. Like you said, uh, based on collect... like the narrowing in the drain region uh, right yes ma yeah so either way you can define like like either explanations if it brings you to the drain gate junction being reversed wise then that's correct the gate is shorted right so remaining uh, terminals if you uh, think again, how they are connected doubt. yeah 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 please yeah tell me uh, I mean, ma'am, if gate is sorted, uh, where is the connection between the drain and gate, ma'am? Drain and gate. Uh, how? I mean, I'm unable to visualize the biasing for the drain and gate, ma'am. Okay, let me check if I can get an image online. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. I mean to say, uh, source is not sorted. Uh, means source also should have the some bias. I mean, all three must be in the connection, ma'am. That what that imagination I'm unable to get it. Like, my didn't get you. Can you say once more? Uh, ma'am, here nothing. I mean, as per the answer, I mean, drain and gate also in the reverse bias. Okay. Source also in the bias, ma'am. So, uh, source is not sorted. Means, uh, I mean. Uh, three terminals in the uh, uh, something it is biased ma'am so how it is biased uh, means uh, whether source is connected to the negative or the source is connected to positive that connections i am not unable to visualize ma'am okay like you madam i will go with like okay yeah tell me so we have uh, 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 source gate and drain yeah so they have uh, so they have said that the drain source voltage is greater than zero. So yeah, apply the positive terminal is connected to the uh, drain and the negative terminal is connected to the source. Source, yeah. So since there is no connection to the gate, I just imagine that the source since source is reverse bias, so I can just say that the uh, Drain source, drain gate junction is reverse bias. bias. Since the source is reverse bias. Biased, yeah. So I think the clue lies in the part where they give that BDS greater than zero, right? 
since gain don't have any connection uh, the the main implication is done by the source yeah so that could be the explanation i also feel that that explanation is justified to some extent even i am yes, not able to come up with any other justifications right now yeah anyway i'll keep this question in mind and i'll see if i can if you don't mind repeat that ma'am yeah anil can you just repeat uh, ma'am if you yeah like i'll try to find an image where what he said can be like, you know uh, like I, I i wait i'll try using this one see uh, j f t means a source will be there okay this is gate will be there and then drain will be there this is fine. so he is saying that drain is positive yeah so if you connect the positive terminal to the drain obviously will connect the negative terminal to the source Yeah. Since you di directly don't have any bias to the gate, is it clear using this image? Drain is connected to the positive, right? Hello, am I audible? Uh, nothing is visible ma'am okay i think your screen is not visible wait 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 uh, ma'am ma'am uh, now is it visible nothing is visible to screen your screen is not updated ma'am now is it visible ma'am your screen is not updated ma'am updated in yes ma'am yes ma'am but uh, i think you are facing network issues madam okay Uh, I mean, it was. It is showing only question only, not the image. Okay, like I am actually in one. Now is it visible? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Ah, now, 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 now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, can you explain using this image? Yeah. Anil, can you use this image to just say like drain whatever you just said right now, regarding the drain being positive? Ah, uh, uh, Mama just simply said that since uh, the drain is positive, hmm. so source will be negative. Negative, yeah. Ah, uh, so since gate don't have any connection, I took that gate is reverse. Ah, uh, like the source gate junction is reverse, reverse biased. biased. Yeah, that could be a possible explanation. I feel. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Got it, ma'am. Yeah, like uh, I'll just flag this question and see if I can come up with any other explanation for that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thinking with you people, even my concepts are getting jumbled up. <laughs> yeah. So we'll move to the next question now. Choose the correct option for an n-type MOS under normal operation. N, N, D, N, P represent electron concentration, donor concentration, and hole concentration respectively. N type MOS under normal operation, how it would be? Like how would be the bulk depletion region and the inversion region in an N type MOS? Ma'am, is it B? Okay, one person said B. Next, uh, the other two, please, and uh, we'll compare. Okay. Ma'am, uh, same ma'am. B answered. Okay, and what about Anil? Uh, no, ma'am, I can't uh, come up with an answer. Okay, like tell me, like what happens in an N-type MOS under normal operation? Like how would be the electron donor and hole concentration be? Like without telling about bulk depletion and inversion, how would electron donor and hole concentration be in an n-type MOSFET?
in an i think in an uh, n type mosfet that the drain and the source will be n type okay. and the bulk will be of p type p type yeah Ah, uh, I think they are saying n type. Then I can say that number of uh, electrons is equal to number of donors. Like n is equal to n d. Yeah. So that is that part is done. Then depletion region and inversion region. Yeah, so uh, I think the third person's name was. What? Syed, right. So, Syed, can you tell me why you went for option B? Uh, Ma'am, because uh, I, I've read that in, in inversion region, the positive or the whole concentration is greater than the electron concentration, concentration. yeah it flips that's the exactly reason i opposite yeah so like yeah. Uh, first if you know that n is equal to nd we have three options and then based on inversion region we can come to p greater than n so is that uh, the same way saujanya also thought or yes ma'am yes ma'am yeah so we know that n is equal to nd that part we know and in inversion region what happens It it flips, ma'am. Yeah, like. Uh, but uh, but in the depletion region, I'm like. Uh, N greater I'm not than N important. greater than P. Like I I I am not sure about that, ma'am. Can you please tell me how N D greater than N greater than P? Like in depletion region, the normal case that we study is that N D greater than. How would you explain it? Mm, let me think. Bulk, they are telling electron concentration is equal to donor concentration. And in the depletion region, what happens is that donor concentration will be greater than electron concentration will be greater than the whole concentration. Right? Like, isn't that like, I feel that it is obvious. Uh, Ma'am, here it is the uh, uh, N, uh, N heavily doped, two yeah. N reasons. That's why it is the N type MOSFET. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, N, um, in, in the depletion region, obviously that, uh, I mean... Uh, N D greater than N P, N greater than P would be there, right? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, that I thought, that's why, ma'am. Yeah, like, uh, I think based on normal explanation, it is obvious that a depletion region N D greater than N greater than P. Like, I think we'll have to check the theory part for that. Okay. Yeah. So, like, should I keep a session where, uh, like, we should take a theory class on MOSFETs and JFETs, like, topic-related discussion instead of questions? What do you people think? Should we go for a class like that? Yes, ma'am. It will be beneficial, actually. Okay, so let me discuss and uh, once these problem solving sessions are over, we can keep an extra session where we can keep a discussion for MOSFETs and JFETs. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so why is TiO2 preferred over SiO2 for use in current MOSFET technology? So it's based on relative permittivity of whether TiO2 is higher than SiO2 or not. And based on relative term permittivity, it will prevent tunneling of carriers across the oxide layer. So, usually TiO2 will be preferred and what is the reason? Will the relative permittivity will be higher or lesser?
in mosfet what would you prefer it had like tunneling has to be prevented right or it has to be permitted first we can see on based on this part should tunneling be prevented or should tunneling be permitted Uh, prevented ma'am because we want to want it to act as a switch so if it tunnels and yeah, conducts that switching next, function that is... won't happen yes ma yeah so next is uh, tio2 is preferred so it has to prevent right so will relative permittivity will be lower or higher so what is the relationship between relative permittivity and this allowing of electrons through that oxide layer Basically, permittivity means the ability to store electrical energy, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so based on that, how it would be? Uh, ma'am, here the TiO2 SiO2 is the oxides, so the oxide layer should be higher. Then the uh, then only the tunneling will not happen. So the oxide layer and the permittivity that uh, that relation I don't know, ma'am. But uh, oxide okay. layer. Instead of should, thinking, uh, uh, I mean, related to the, relative permittivity, can I think based on the dielectric constant part. Somebody posted a message. I think did somebody post a message? Okay, ma'am. No, 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 nobody. Uh, ma'am, as you said, it uh, mean. Yeah, tell me. Uh, Ma'am, as you said, the I mean uh, to stop the tunneling, the I mean permittivity should I mean it should store the electrical energy. Yeah. So it should be relative permittivity so should be is, higher, right? Yeah. Yes, ma'am, because the width should be higher like that. Yeah. So option A, ma'am. Yeah. So, what about Anil? Do you feel the same? Based on dielectric constant, if you think about TiO2 and SiO2, what does a higher dielectric constant mean, basically? Higher insulation like that, it's not yeah. conducting. Yes. So, it will prevent tunneling of carriers, right, across the oxide layer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is why we say like an option A will be the answer. So greater relative permittivity would mean that greater dielectric constant. Greater dielectric constant means more storage and more insulation. And then that will prevent the tunneling of carriers across the oxide layer. So is it clear? Ma'am, I want to add one more point to that one. Ma'am, yeah. the silicon permittivity is the 3.9, but the titanium dioxide permittivity is the 6200, uh, 60 ma'am. Yeah. That much higher. Higher, yeah. So, and so, these oxide layers that we think like uh, it would be very, very thin, right? These all these would mm -hmm. be in microns and nanometer lengths. So, to prevent mm -hmm. tunneling across those small regions, we need this high level of relative permittivity. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So, next is choose the correct option with respect to a P channel MOSFET. P channel MOSFET, okay. Option C P type source, P type drain, and N type bulk. C. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the answer. No doubts on this one, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So next is a problem. Consider a MOS structure using N-type silicon. ND is given to you. What is the voltage required to make the surface intrinsic? Give your answer in volts. And Ni is to be taken as 10 power 10 centimeter power minus 3. And temperature is 300 Kelvin. So it's the MOS structure using N-type silicon. We have to find voltage to make the surface intrinsic.
plus zero point four one. Okay. What about the Saujanya? Yes, ma'am. Zero point four one, ma'am. Yeah. So I think you've already solved this one, right? Yes, ma'am. It is yes, in the assignment also. Okay. So can you tell me like first equation that would you use? Like how uh, this potential bar? Yeah. Uh, potential barrier uh, equals to kT ln of nd by n i, ma'am. Okay. So they given the nd. and a value and they mention the temperature also we know the boltzmann constant so this the uh, this barrier potential is required to make as a intrinsic ma'am okay so um, by that equation we can calculate the volt uh, required voltage ma'am yeah 0.41 is the answer so is the same equation that uh, anil also used since it's there in assignment yes, yeah okay fine there no issues So next is consider most structure using n type silicon again. What is the voltage required to create strong inversion at the surface? Again, n i is in temperature is given. Yeah, this is also Absence solved one right. Point yes, eight. Yes, ma'am. Here the, I mean, for the strong inversion, the yes, intrinsic equal, voltage yeah. should be doubled. Yeah. The That two times k t l n n d by n i will come. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Oh. So next is which of the following is true with respect to a J fit and an N channel connecting the source and ring? Again, N channel is created in J fit only upon applying external voltage. Inversion can be achieved with sufficient negative gate voltage. Current saturation can be achieved at lower values of drain voltage as we bias the gate with increasingly negative voltages. Width of the depletion region decreases as we approach the drain. Assume the drain is positively biased with respect to the source. Ma'am, your voice is so breaking, breaking, ma'am. Hello. 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 Now am I audible? Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Yes, ma'am. You are audible, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can read the question now. Which of the following is true with respect to a JFET with an N channel connecting the source and the drain? Ma'am, I will go with option C. Yeah, like yeah, that is what. Uh, yeah, ma'am. But uh, most but correct answer. Uh, yeah, most correct answer. Like many, you might feel might be correct in this. Most correct answer, like the one year. Like if you see, ah, uh, Sajini, tell me what you, which all you felt out of these were correct. Uh, C only, ma'am. Yeah. But uh, I couldn't understand that. Uh, like I, uh, I, I mean. Based on the that IV characteristics curve only, uh, it reaches. I mean, at lower values also, it reaches the saturation, ma'am. So that I understood, but how it is like uh, uh, drain voltage that I, I didn't understand. Lower values of drain voltage instead of the gate voltage. Actually, I remember only IV characteristics uh, there. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, voltage between the Gate and the source is the very low. Then we can easily achieve the saturation. saturation but here, yeah. but here it is mentioned the drain, drain voltage. voltage. That is little bit okay. confusing. Okay. Like Anil, why would you say it is drain voltage? Here it is correct. Madam, first thing I noted in that 
things as we increase the k voltage uh, negative somebody's phone is ringing i think yeah now it's okay hello ah uh, madam yeah. uh, just i thought like yeah tell me like 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 drain voltage is less means uh, the uh, major constituent for drain current uh, is uh, uh, through the source yeah. like the minority carriers which are tunneling through the gate and going to drain constituting the drain drain current yeah uh, that's i thought so if drain current is low then uh, obviously like i can imagine like uh, like it will reach the saturation saturation zone. yeah uh, and uh, like if you apply a negative bias to the gate obviously it reaches saturation yeah yeah After this part voltage. this part we know like we bias the gate with increasingly negative voltage current saturation is there but this lower values of drain voltage you understood based on the fact that the tunneling of the carriers through the My? yeah tell them yeah yes ma that's it Okay. So the solution answer is current saturation can be achieved at lower values of drain voltage as we bias the gate with increasingly negative voltages. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So I think this is the last question. No. Okay. Um, here the tunneling effect will come. It's a tunneling effect is about the MOSFETs. I think so. No, like uh, not tunneling effect. We are telling the movement of the carriers movement, not tunneling effect. Just yeah, yeah. For effect. explaining the yeah. movement of the carriers to the depletion region, I use that word. But it is not tunneling. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, using, okay. you can say. Yeah. Oh, okay. Whatever convenient so that you can understand. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So consider an n-channel J effect connecting the source and drain with electrons flowing from source to drain. Which of the following statements should be true for proper orientation of the J effect as a switch? Assuming pinch off does not occur. Option D, ma'am. Yeah, what about Anil? Madam, one second. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Madam, like open circuit and shorted, what's the difference, madam? Sorry? What's the difference between open circuit and shorted? Shorted means... Uh, open yeah, circuit yeah. means... Yeah, yeah, yeah Open means uh, though no external uh, yeah, voltage is applied, applied to the yeah. that circuit. But it is connected. It is connected. It means gate and the. I mean, gate is connected with respect to the source and drain something else. If it is shorted, means a gate at not not at all connected to any of the source and drain like that. That is my understanding. Yes, yes, it's correct.
like P might be correct, man, because of the reason that uh, as we increase the uh, uh, drain source voltage, uh, the, uh, like the channel uh, creates and uh, flow, current will flow. And when you switch off, uh, the voltage will current will flow. And when you switch off that, and obviously the uh, channel uh, vanishes. So option D might be correct. Yeah. But uh, all these options are not correct. Gate should be negative while biased with respect to channel is the answer. Saujanya told D and you told B, right? Ma'am, if it is negatively biased means pinch off will occur, ma'am. But they, sang, they said that pinch off, assume pinch off has not, not occurred. occurred. Yeah. So if it is, uh, I mean, it is negatively biased, the, uh, this depletion regions come and uh, they merge like a pinch off like that. Like that is only at threshold, just before that what happens. Like okay. we are not reaching the threshold value. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So then gate would be negatively biased with respect to the channel, right? Mm, yes, ma'am. Then only the electrons flow from the source to drain. drain. Yes. So, Anil, just before pinch off the working, you have to imagine, I guess. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. So, is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, for a MOSFET under inversion, how does the surface charge density with the surface potential? Option A, ma'am. Uh, no, I think. Okay. Like in while answering this one, even initially I felt, but the like, answer given to us was different. Like I would believe that it is linearly as a function of surface potential. Yeah. Mm, yes, ma'am. Big. Because surface potential depends on the N A and D. Yeah. So that's why, I mean, uh, charge density also depends on the N A, N -A and D yeah. directly proportional. So that's why I thought A. Yeah. Like even I feel the same, but uh, whatever is given in the manual is different. I don't know why they haven't given an explanation. But if you go like seeing the equation, it is increases in linearly as a function of surface potential. That's true. Oh, okay. Ma yeah. So this is also a question I think that requires clarification. Any clarification from Anil's part? Like why? Yes, no, ma'am. Yeah, if you follow accordingly, like I would uh, like I would discuss this with faculty and then come back to you. Like here it is given that it increases exponentially as a function of surface potential. But based on the equation, it would be answer A increases linearly as a function of surface potential. So this is a question that I think requires further discussion. Yes. I think we can uh, see in next week the actual explanation. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this question mm -hmm. also you might have answered. The accepted concentration in an NPN silicon MOSFET is 5 into 10 power 15. Total depletion with that strong inversion, we have to find out. Have you solved this question? Or, uh, hello, am I audible? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I mean, same type of problem, but the values are different. Okay, then you can solve right now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma uh, ma'am? Yeah. Uh, ma'am, when will you, you will be dealing with the questions of this week, yeah. which were, you know, based on optoelectronics. Okay, like uh, week 7 or week 8, you are asking? 
No, ma'am, week seven. Week seven. This is actually from week six. So week seven we would be doing on next Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. Or uh, because, you, uh, you meant the assignment. Oh. You have any doubt in the assignment? Uh, ma'am, actually, I don't understand the concept which we which were being taught in the in that videos. Okay, like so, week seven videos. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I could answer. I, you know, at the most two or three questions of that total, fifteen questions. Okay, so like, um, like assignment hmm. questions. If you know the question numbers, we can discuss right now. Like, if you want any concept related clarification, we can do that when we do the actual questions next week. Okay, ma'am. Yeah, assignment. If you have any doubts after this set of questions, we can answer. No issue. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, I think, ma'am, uh, the the questions based on MOSFET, where uh, you know you you have done these questions previous week. Yeah, yeah. Like the thing is that um, this live session started two weeks after the classes started, so that right, is why right, we right. are having a delay. We are not parallel. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Yep. So assignment uh, questions, uh, you can note down the question number, and we can discuss right now after this. No issue. Okay, and one more thing, uh, our exam is on twenty sixth or twenty seventh, right? Yeah. Uh, so actually, ma'am, I'm from the chemistry background, and I, I was very interested in learning this uh, fundamentals of electronics and some and like this. So okay. it's a very you know difficult for me to yeah towards yeah all the like fundamentals after week four point. and five it becomes difficult hmm. yeah. Yeah, but uh, I've watched those videos again and again and. Uh, have come to a point that at least uh, half of the course is you know somewhat understood by me. Yeah. And uh, yeah. the latter part, like this optoelectronics and all, uh, I'm actually trying to leave. So I'm actually worried about the exam. How the exam will be conducted? Like what kind exam, of questions will you can be asked? expect uh, very questions very similar to your assignments. Okay. Yeah, and whatever non-graded assignments, graded assignments, and then there will be videos where questions will be solved, like problem solving bala videos. Those things, like it will be very, uh -huh. very similar to those. Okay. Yeah, at least a few questions, maybe you can like find out such that values will be different and question pattern will be same. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So other than that, nothing will be asked. Whatever type of questions are discussed, ninety percentage at least will be from that itself. Usually, it is like that. Okay, from the assignment, from the non-graded and the problem-solving sessions. Sessions, yeah. Like you should be thorough with the type of questions and concepts that are discussed over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very very tricky okay. questions will be there, but that will be very few. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank. Yeah. Sure. So, have you got the answers? Madam, one minute. Yeah, sure, sure. Take your time, no issues. Uh, Ma'am, absent C? Uh, Not option. Absent D, absent D, yeah, absent D, yeah, yeah, 0.42. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Confused with the uh, microns. Okay. You're having exams on 26th, right? Mm, yes, ma'am. So how many days approximately you will get for preparing? Like, all videos are uploaded, uh, right? Yes, ma'am. Week 8 uh, will end by the 22nd March. Okay. So, four days is there between. Okay. But numericals are a little bit heavy, ma'am. 
and that uh, assign i mean worked out assignments by sir oh, yeah. that was uh, tricky and heavy also yeah like and time and consuming i guess and especially with calculators they are providing mm, yes ma'am. Uh, yes ma'am. Yeah. Uh, option d yeah. 0.4 i got uh, 0.1419 that is photo yeah that you can approximate as 0.42 now i'll show the answer that uh, yeah last week we had discussion so saujanya what answer had you given for this particular question from assignment 5 which mechanism causes forward bias in a short key barrier so did you go for thermionic emission or did you was your answer diffusion no Yeah, this was a question from assignment five. Uh, uh, which question, ma'am? Sorry, I forgot. Uh, this question, like from assignment five, question seven. Which mechanism causes forward mm -hmm. bias current in a short key barrier? So, like, there was a confusion whether it would be diffusion or thermionic, and uh, the answer that I got was like diffusion would be the answer in case they are asking about PN junction. and for a short key barrier or a short key junction or diode thermionic emission would be correct it seems so for short key diode and a forward I bias i kept as a which one i kept only thermionic emission only ma'am okay instead of the diffusion because it's a, like uh, i take uh, uh, one minute yeah ma sure sure like anil uh, like it is meant like it was mentioned that uh, for for short key diode forward bias is due to majority charge carries by the thermionic emissions itself uh, okay, and if you refer like i can relate now happened, like yeah. inner tunneling or heavy doping or diffusion it will be related to pn and thermionic emission is one which is related to short, short bias yes. yeah and in case you want additional reading a few references are given maybe you can click a picture and when you're free you can try reading this this nicole's j dimitri okay. yeah ma'am even in the reverse bias short key junction thermionic emission like we see the thermionic emission yeah so why to mention it only in the forward bias like causes forward bias correct maybe just to like uh, the same way had that happened if when we hear forward bias like first thing that comes to our mind will be diffusion right maybe to create that that i'm not sure okay yeah so now i think we can try solving questions from like whatever doubts you have from week 7 yeah if you tell me the question number i can give some clues or something like that based on whatever i know i think that person is left ma'am oh. who asked about this uh, assignment seven okay okay yeah fine then what about you two in case you have any doubts with assignment questions some actual answer i won't give but some pointers i can give any questions in case you have doubts so anil which are the doubts you have uh madam the one uh, doubt i have is huh? yeah tell me uh, like i am not sure about this uh, 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 deep, like deep states and shallow states like the options they have given as deep states and shallow question states number, are bit question confused. number second one okay question number let me question let me read the question which of the statements is true regarding light interaction with their indirect band gap semiconductor okay indirect band gap meaning that there will be photons and phonons okay and light interaction we have say light of energy more than band gap gets absorbed forming electron hole pairs then recombination of excited cathode light emission with wavelength given by semiconductor band gap recombination of excited cathode leads to heat generation deep trap states in indirect band gap semiconductor can also trap electrons during recombination okay so we have to find out which of them are true right so yes yeah your doubt i is... according to my knowledge i have put to 1 1 3 and 4 
okay one three and four so basically what indirect band gap semiconductor means that there will be photons and phonons so c will be there and yes yeah and whenever we are providing light having energy more than that of band gap electron hole pairs will be formed irrespective of whether it is direct or indirect yes and deep trap states in the indirect band gap semiconductor can also trap electrons during recombination so when we talk about solar cells and leds one issue that we face is recombination right and why are these recombinations so other the additional energy levels will be pre play, will be present in the forbidden gap yes sir. yeah so deep trap states that also will be correct ah. yeah like uh, uh, above that question question number 1 again they have like it is possible to reduce the emitted wavelength by creating deep traps in direct manner like the if they said like intensity that will be a correct answer like it is possible to reduce the emitted intensity okay. then it will be correct wavelength wavelength will be reduced according to the wavelength band gap, yeah. no? wavelength has only a relation with band gap Yes. Yeah. No other relation is there with respect to intensity. Like, the, yeah. if they have asked like emitted intensity, then we can go with that. Yeah, emitted intensity, and then it should be like uh, it's some kind of device, right? Yes. Yeah. So here it is that they are only talking about band gap and emitted wavelength. So D won't be correct. Okay. Yeah. So then, which question? Any other? Saujani, if you have any doubts regarding the assignment, you can ask. Uh, no, ma'am. Yet to start that one, so I don't know exactly. Okay, fine, fine, fine. And uh, okay. yeah, uh, Anil Kumar, any other ones? Uh. Hello. Yeah. Uh, madam, fourth one. Fourth one. Let me see the question. Which of the following semiconductor emits light of lowest wavelength during recombination? Okay. Like I, I have used the formula E is equal to H, H C by lambda. Uh -huh. So from that, from the knowledge of energy gap, I have uh, solved this problem. Is that okay, ma'am? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like one two four zero. Okay. Yeah. The like easiest way is one two four zero by lambda. Like HC, we, if you are taking an electron volt instead of calculating HC and all, we can take it as one two four zero by lambda. EG is equal to in electron volt. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So based on that, you can say yeah, that's correct. Then. Yes. Yeah. Any other? I think this part is comparatively uh, I think easy. Only such, uh, only right. Four or five questions are solved. Yeah. Compared to MOSFET JFET part, this this part at least uh, you can visualize. Yes, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Ma fifth one. Na? Sixth. They have asked us to find out the lambda. Okay, sixth, sixth one. one. Fifth. Wait one minute. Uh, ah. Okay. Find the band gap of direct uh, semiconductors given. Which of the following wavelength would be absorbed by T? Okay. Not more than one answer may be correct. Okay, fine. Okay, yeah. Tell me. I like the one thing is that, ma'am, they have okay, like direct formula. We can use the uh, energy and frequency relation. Ah. Like here, nothing. From like, that, I calculated lambda. Well, basically, one thing is that band gap of direct. Okay, one energy value is given, two point five electron volt, right? So when you divide one two four zero by two point five, means that four ninety six. Ah, uh, four ninety six five hundred, madam. Yeah, suppose. But the option is not there, madam. Five hundred. No, no, they are asking which of the following wavelength would be absorbed by the material. So suppose a band material's band gap it is two point five. If we are providing two point five, two point six, two point seven, greater than two point five, whatever we are providing, there will be excitation, right? Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. There will be absorption. Yeah. Uh, so obviously. suppose like, you put. Oh, uh, I can choose two options. Yeah. Suppose you put two point six, it becomes a four seventy six. 
So whatever is less than that yes, initial sir. value, all of that will be absorbed. Will be not absorbed. Yeah. Above that will be absorbed. And in, in, when you are taking energy, it should be above. When you are taking wavelength, it should be less because they have an inverse relation, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yeah. So if two point five is there, how much is absorbed? Uh, four ninety six. Like, uh, Whatever is less than four ninety six will be absorbed. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Any other? Uh, nothing. Like I did, didn't read the question proper. That's the. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This part is interesting. I find in electronic materials this part is most interesting. Light matter interaction type things. Like we can understand yeah, this. Yeah. Like like, they're not like JF yeah, and MOSFET. JF like MOSFET, fully... if somebody comes and asks suddenly, we won't be able to answer. During reading, we might know. After that, it will evaporate. Yes, ma'am. Hello, yeah, sure. Tell me. Hello. Uh, yeah. Uh, like all of my doubts are cleared. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I hope. I think then we are done for this week. Thank you so much, both of you, for joining. Yeah. You can. You guys can leave right now. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, sure. Okay, okay ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, bye. Okay.